When my niece, Tina, was murdered, I felt like I needed to reach out to the community and let people know that this is something that we need to address. Domestic violence is not gonna go away and we need to educate our young men and women. We need to educate our community. Even if I help just one person, one woman, one man in the community, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do now that Tina's not here. Having someone such as myself, a voice of reason for that individual, for that college student, to step up and say, no, I'm not, a, I'm not with domestic violence. I'm against, I'm against domestic violence. And if my teammates are doing, doing it, that's not cool either. And I'm willing to step up and say something about it and make sure that I'm the one that they're hearing rather than these other guys who are in the locker room who are joking and, and kind of just passing it along as something that's okay and that's cool. You know, silence, when you don't say something in a situation, that's just as much as saying something because you're not standing for anything. One of the things that I, I try to do personally is with the men that are in my life, whether that be my own family, my brother, uh, professional colleagues, and, and just friends, is try to create more of those spaces where uh, men are able to come together to be able to speak about you know the choices that they're making in their relationships, uh, but then also be willing uh, to kind of hold the space and speak to uh, the effects that those choices may be having on their families. Uh, when I think about answering the call and what I'm willing to do, I think is to be present for not only the men that are in my life, but be also be present for their families, for their partners and for their children, and uh, what kinds of choices, again, um, they're making and the effects that those have and, uh, on their families. I think a couple of things that I'm willing to do to answer the call. Um, one, I have a goal and a commitment to make myself accountable to the women in my life, um, to hear them, to listen to them about how they're experiencing me, um, to, to be mindful about how my choices are impacting them and to ask them about it and to believe what they have to tell me and to care about what they have to tell me and to do something about it. At home, it would most definitely be um, truly um, and genuinely listening like to my partner and to my children, which is really different from what it, it might have been before um, in, in terms of like being the authority or having to be in control. And that really kind of trickles down into everything that I'm doing like in, in my life, whether it be at work um, and whether it be in the community, is, is like really trying to be uh, more conscious of others' experiences and the things that they're sharing. And um, so yeah, and, and seeing how I could be as a, a support in that. And it's tricky because um, I feel by being vulnerable, we, we um, open ourselves up for the opportunity of being hurt. Um, but I, I definitely think that's key. I definitely think that's key to being able to heal is to be open and willing uh, for change and to change.